Hi everyone, this is Matthew Kenslow, author of Juggling the Issues Living with Asperger's Syndrome. And in this video, I want to give perhaps a talk and a little simulation on what it's like being an autistic having to make phone calls. Now, you may or may not be hearing wind interference right now, and there may be other interferences that I will draw out later, but there is something with me personally and making phone calls that I'm sure a lot of autistics could relate. A uh, little disclaimer, once you meet one person with autism, doesn't mean that you met everyone with autism. So um, some of the things I say may be unique to certain autistic individuals versus others. Anyway, I dread having to talk on the phone. I prefer face-to-face. -face. I would prefer something like Zoom because you get to see everybody. Uh, however, I'm a little bit nervous about the technical glitches. Now, cars are going by. I'm on this road on purpose uh, because when a car goes by, um, it may be hard to hear me. And that's kind of it, how I feel every time that I have to make a phone call. So I always have the speaker on my phone and I have it this close to my ears with the speaker on. Part of the reason why it's aggravating to talk on the phone is because I'm just listening to voice. That's one sense. I can't visually see the other person, nor can the other person see me. And sometimes when I'm talking, I'm not sure if my intonations or inflection in my voice might cause people to have the wrong idea of how I'm sounding. I, I like, for example, if you didn't see me uh, just now, you might think I'm raising my voice and such. I'm not raising my voice. I'm just trying to uh, communicate my message and having you hear me to the best of the ability. And so that's partly why I don't like talking on the phone. I don't want them to think that I'm uh, having a countenance that I'm not. Uh, countenance is like your facial expressions and such. So I, I try to over laugh or chuckle or something and and um, try to impart that I have a smile behind the behind the phone. And so that's kind of what I do 100% of the time when having to talk on the phone. Again, I would prefer Zoom conferencing, but uh, sometimes there's glitches and that's just as aggravating to me. And even when I'm in my room alone, I can't explain it, but I have the speaker on and the phone like right here. Uh, just so that I could hear well. And another thing is when I'm in a moving vehicle, I can't even hear with the speakerphone on and close to my face. A lot of sensory things are going on because a lot of cars are whizzing by and maybe there's construction vehicles or people doing a lot of construction. And so that's kind of why I wanted to talk about in this video. Uh, perfect to have all these cars go by and maybe if you hear some birds or wind interference or, or music and such. Um, and it could also be a plane or, or anything. And just to say there's motorcycles on Newport Boulevard, um, Orange Avenue, there's a lot of cars going back and forth. And another good example of walking down the street is sometimes there's um, uh, music in the background. And a lot of things just capture my mind and I can't concentrate on listening well. So I think that has something to do with it too. What is really aggravating is if I'm talking to someone that I don't know because it, it may be uh, somebody for paperwork, it may be somebody for a job. If I'm calling the bank for some reason or if I'm calling a store for some reason, a manager, or maybe somebody over at my college or university or school. And it's just um, very aggravating because I I don't know what they think uh, based on my voice. Now, on the contrary, real quick, I actually do have astounding hearing at the same time. I hear very well. I can hear my grandfather's phone conversation on the other side of the room. When I was younger, I would uh, ride my bicycle on the street and um, I would hear a car speed up right behind me and I turn around startled and the car was all the way on the other side across the cross street going the other way and I could have sworn that it was like right next to me. So I have astounding hearing and at the same time I can't hear uh, my phone when it's like right here and I always have it on speakerphone even when I'm alone in my room. I think it's because of the pressure of talking to somebody on the phone. So I just wanted to make those, uh, this video. There again are two major things. Um, one, um, it's hard to hear with a lot of sensory issues going on. And two, I don't want people to think I'm yelling or uninterested or anything like that or, or mad or sad when I'm really engaging in the phone conversation. I can't tell you how many times that I tried to match my countenance or inflection or voice um, based on what is expected in society today. So anyway, again, the purpose of these videos is to educate uh, people on autism awareness and acceptance, not just that, but disability awareness and acceptance. And this is to encourage people who have autism or some disability 
as well as to educate the uneducated that we are not Martians from Mars like a lot of people think that we are, that we come from. Uh, we're not, we're human beings with the heart and the mind, and uh, the sooner that you figure that out and treat everyone equally, the sooner this world could be a better place. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know if there's any other suggestions or questions you have on autism. I also have a whole autism awareness playlist. Um, I'm not the only YouTuber and author for autism awareness. There, There's tons of us out there in the world. I just encourage you to search the matter out. Have a great day and stay encouraged. How did I say this? I just encourage you to search the matter out. Oh, perfect, and then a bird. <laughs> With the speakerphone on and close to my face because there's so many sensory things going on at the same time and there's a lot of... Uh...